This is just intense. <sighs> hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I will be doing a product comparison with the new Huda Beauty Nymph Highlighter versus the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina. If you like my content, be sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you can stay updated with future videos that I post. Now Huda Beauty just announced her new product launch, which are these Nymph Body Highlighters. So I thought it would be good to test it out against the Fenty Beauty Body Lava, considering they have just launched some new shades as well. First off, let me give you a quick overview of each product. The Huda Beauty Nymph Highlighters, which stands for Not Your Mama's Pantyhose, comes in three shades, Luna, Aphrodite, and Aurora. These retail for $49 each. In each bottle, you get 55 mils of product. These are water-based and can be used all over the body and even on the face. It claims to have intense shine, give you a blurring effect, be water resistant and transfer resistant. Huda also created her own blur and glow brush, which you can use to buff the highlighter in on your face and body. The Fenty Beauty Body Lavas are a gel based illuminator and they also come in three shades. Who needs clothes, trophy wife and brown sugar. These retail for $59, a little bit more expensive than the Huda one, but you get a lot more product. In each bottle, you get 90 mils of product, as opposed to 55 mils. This body illuminizer leaves the skin feeling dewy and has light diffusing micro pearls with a sheer tint of color, designed for all skin tones. It can be applied with the face and body kabuki brush. So first thing I want to do is swatch the colors of each range so you guys can compare and see the difference. I'm just going to pump some out on a palette. Just going to pump a little bit. So I just noticed something. With the Huda Beauty packaging and the pump specifically, I find that if you if you want to use a little bit of product, it's actually hard to kind of control how much comes out. Whereas with the Fenty one, the pump is a lot better. You can control how much product comes out very easily. Okay, I'm going to swatch it on my arm. Oh, you can see my armpit and I didn't, I didn't shave. I'm just going to try to lift my arm up not too high so you don't see my underarm. <laughs> I'm going to swatch the Huda Beauty ones first. This is the first shade, which is Luna. So I'm just going to pop that up on here. And then we'll move on to the next color, Aphrodite. And the darker shade is Aurora. So just feeling the texture of this, it does feel very thin, very watery. That's the three shades there. Now I'm going to swatch the body lavas. So this is Who Needs Clothes. And then next shade is Trophy Wife. By the way, did I tell you guys I met Rihanna in London? And oh my god, she is a goddess. She's freaking amazing. And then the last shade, Brown Sugar. So here are the swatches. As you guys can see, the Huda Beauty ones are more opaque compared to the body lavas. Let's talk about the shades. Obviously they're different. I feel like the first two actually are quite similar, but the other two, they're pretty different. A big thing I noticed with the darker shades is that the Huda Beauty one is definitely more orangey compared to the Fenty one. So another thing is the Huda one, it's actually set, like it feels more dry. Whereas with the Fenty one, it is a little bit tacky and somewhat sticky. I'll compare it a little bit better when I apply it on like a large area and blend it out. Okay, now I am going to test out the Nymph Illuminator on my face, seeing that it's a face and body product. Now I saw Huda Beauty, she actually just applied it underneath her foundation and then laid the foundation on top. So I'm gonna use the shade Luna, which is the lightest one. And to compare the difference, I'm going to apply it on half my face and the other half I'll just apply just foundation so you guys can see the difference. So I think I'm just gonna like dot it on first. I guess you can apply it everywhere. And then I'm just going to use the brush and just buff it out. Oh, this is just intense. Oh, okay, you need to work really fast with this because it does dry fairly quickly. Oh, see, now it's all clumped up in one spot. Okay. Um, now, I'm not one to use a lot of illuminating liquids under my base. I usually kind of apply it on top. So this is looking a little bit crazy for me. But we shall make it work. 
For foundation, I'm going to be using the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this over on top. I actually really love this foundation. I don't know why, but I kind of forgot about it. Okay, so I'm just blending that onto my skin on top of the illuminator. And then I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender to just really pat that out and just blend it nicely. All right, so this is what it looks like. You can obviously see there's a lot of shine there still. It's very luminous under there. Let me apply foundation on this side to properly compare. Up close, I can definitely see a difference. I feel like this side is a little bit more golden. It has more of a champagne sheen, whereas this one is just more like dewy and it just reflects the natural color of the light. And yeah, as I just kind of move my face around, you can see that every part of it starts to glow. Whereas this side, it does glow, but it's just not as crazy in the center of my face. Let me just try something. I want to see if I can layer on top with a brush. So yeah, if you do want like an extra glowy look, you can obviously just go on top of your foundation as well, or just do that instead of applying it underneath. I'm just gonna quickly finish off my makeup and then I can move on to testing the products on my body. I am done with my makeup and you know what guys, I actually do prefer this side a lot more. It actually looks a lot better on camera. This is the side where I applied the uh, Nymph Illuminator underneath. I feel like it actually does look a lot better than this side. This side, I mean I applied the highlighter on top but it just doesn't give me that same result. This side is looking somewhat a little bit more flat. This stuff is growing on me. Moving on, I'm going to apply the Nymph Illuminator on my decolletage. So I would usually highlight around my collarbone and um, my shoulders. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm just using the brush to apply this on. Well, it's a bit messy. I didn't want it to go everywhere. Oh yeah, so it's looking quite nice. Now for this side, I'm going to apply the Who Needs Clothes Body Lava. I'm just using the Fenty Kabuki brush with this. I would say the Fenty side gives you more of like a body oil glossy effect and the Huda side is more of a pearly shimmer. I'm just touching both sides. The Fenty side is definitely a lot more sticky. It will transfer on your clothes. This side feels a lot more dry and it feels set. It's not sticky and a little bit does come off. I'm going to try it on a bigger area on my legs so you guys can get a better comparison. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty side and this is the Fenty Beauty side. A big difference I notice here is this leg is a lot glowier, it's more luminous. Though when you look up close, I feel like it looks like you're wearing body makeup. It doesn't look that natural. You can see all the little pigments and the particles. I just feel like up close, I kind of look like the Tin Man. But I think for performances and on stage, this would actually pop out a lot more and look a lot glowier. On the Body Lava side, it's still very glowy. It gives me that nice sheen. This side definitely gives you a more natural finish because you can't see all that pigment particles everywhere unless you look super up close. But even then, the particles are sort of spaced out. They're not as concentrated as this side. I also found that the body lava was a lot easier to blend out as opposed to the nymph side. I feel like you don't get a perfect even layer, but in saying that when the light hits it, you can't really tell too much because all the areas are reflective. But in real life, I can see that it is a little bit streaky or patchy. It just depends where I pump the product and which area I swiped first. I like the finish of the Fenty Beauty more, but it is sticky and it does transfer. The Nymph side, it doesn't feel like I have anything on when I touch it. It just feels like skin. There's no tacky feeling. There's no stickiness. And the results are a lot more dramatic, I would say. However, this side still transfers. 
Now I wanted to do one last test to see whether the Huda Nymph Illuminator is water resistant. So now I'm going to put my arm under running water. I'm not going to rub it and I'm just going to see what it does to the swatches. Now you can see it has definitely faded. It's not as pigmented as before. I kind of expected this because it is a water-based product. Here you can see if I just run it under water again and just rub my finger very gently over the area, the product basically comes off. Now that I've tried both products out, let me give you my final thoughts and pros and cons to each product. For the Huda Nymph Illuminator, the pros are it can be used on the face and body. The product is super pigmented. When it's set, it's not sticky and it gives you a very high shine. Some cons are it does transfer slightly and this formula can be hard to blend because it sets quickly. For the Fenty Body Lava, some pros are it's better value because you get a lot more product. Because the shimmer particles are more spaced out, I feel like it gives you a more natural finish. It makes your skin look glossy. The formula is easy to blend and the packaging has a better pump design. The cons are it feels tacky and sticky on the skin. It's not transfer resistant. It's not as pigmented as the Huda Beauty one. Now for me personally, I do like Nymph on my face as a illuminator. I think it actually looks quite nice and glowy. On my body, I'm not a big fan. I think it's just too, too pigmented for me. I would mix it with a little bit of like body moisturizer or something just to dilute that pigment a little bit to make it look more natural. I do prefer the body lava finish a lot more. However, it's sticky, which gets to me. Because I live in a hot and humid country, I'm already sticky, so sticky on top of sticky is just not ideal. I think these products would be perfect for special occasions. I don't really know anyone that applies this on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually if you're going somewhere special for events or photo shoots, these are great products to try out. But yeah, for every day, I don't know anyone that extra. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you guys are looking for a body illuminator, hopefully this video will help you out and help you decide which to get. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye!